Hey guys, Brent Florica here. Welcome back to another episode of Sketchbook B. This is a really quick one. This is a drawing that I was doing the other day, and I've started doing a new thing that shows off a really cool feature in Clip Studio Paint that I've been getting used to lately. I just wanted to show you. This is how I make skies digitally. So I'm just, I've already done this one, so I'm just making a couple new layers for clouds and sky so I can demonstrate, but this is a really cool tool. So the first thing I need to do is make a gradient for the sky. And under the gradients tab here in Clip Studio Paint, you've got all these different options. I mean, you've got sunset, night sky, midday, so many cool options um, that they give you just as stock in the program. The one I normally use is midday sky. It kind of gives me a nice uh, color gradient and then you just drag it from top to bottom. Usually it takes me, you know, a few different tries in order to get the placement of that gradient just right. Uh, I want to make sure that it's not too light at the ground because uh, sometimes it, it fades to, you know, close to white and I don't really want to see that so low down. So I, I played around with this one a couple times to get it just right. Then once I have that, I switch over to my clouds layer. And this is where I go over to this button for decoration. And they have, again, all these cool options for different textures, different patterns and things. But the one that I have grown to love is this cloud brush. And I've used it on my comic book from Inktober last year and uh, for a lot of my house stuff of late when I do these sketches. So, you know, you play around with, first of all, you got to get your color right. <laughs> you know, I, I try and go with something in the sort of blue family and keep it right up there near the top corner so that it's not too far off from straight white and then you just sort of with the pen drag it lightly across and depending on how hard you push you get more or less opacity and you can change the sizes around you know and, and play around with it I try and kind of mix it up and not just do one size most of the time but you go in you, you layer on top of it and each time you go over it it gets a little bit more white so you can sort of fill in those more chunky cloud areas but I love the way that it sort of fades it out like a realistic cloud would look. And uh, this just, I, I don't know, it, it's made doing the sky so much easier for me since uh, starting to use this digital method because with my Copic markers, it, it was just really difficult to get a clean gradient and to do those clouds right. So I'm super, super happy with this tool and Clip Studio Paint has a ton of fun stuff like this to explore. So um, check it out for yourself. This is a really cool program with a lot of fun stuff to use. So one aspect I just wanted to show you.